In Los Angeles, the big political issue right now is a blockbuster tape recording that could force three city councilors to resign. Nuri Martinez has already stepped down as the president of the L.A. City Council and apologized for making profane and racist statements on that tape. The city council will meet for the first time since the recording was made public. As Mark Strassman reports, the incident has exposed racial fault lines in this multicultural city. Nuri Martinez, a rising star in L.A. politics, potentially faces a career in ruins. The first Latina chosen to lead the Los Angeles City Council caught on tape making racist and offensive comments during a redistricting meeting with three Latino Democrats. It's not us. It's the white members on this council that will motherfuck you in a heartbeat. That tape, obtained by the L.A. Times, captured Martinez talking to local labor leader Ron Herrera and fellow council members Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon. At one point, Martinez talks about the black child of Mike Bonin, a white council member, in Spanish, calling the boy a little monkey. There's nothing you can do to control him. Why is it changuito? Then she adds, describing the boy allegedly misbehaving at an MLK parade. He looked like a little white kid, which I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Councilman Bonin and his husband said they are appalled, angry, and disgusted. No child should ever be subjected to such racist, mean, and dehumanizing comments, especially from a public official. Herrera, the labor leader, resigned his post overnight. Within hours of the recording surfacing, Martinez said she was sorry, saying, I sincerely apologize to the people I hurt. I ask for forgiveness from my colleagues and from the residents of this city. Resign! Resign! But even after she resigned her powerful post as council president, protesters outside Martinez's home and at city council demanded more. She should also resign her elected seat on L.A. City Council. We're appalled that these people claim to represent us. They don't represent us. We're better. L.A.'s mayor and the two candidates running to succeed him now say all three council members should resign. All of them have apologized, but none has shown any sign of resigning despite mounting pressure for them to do just that. Tony? All right, Mark, Mark Strassman for us in Los Angeles, which is unusual. Mark, thank you very much. Appreciate that report.